Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, each passing day, the stories that are coming out are just showing how close we are to the Lord's soon return. People are calling good evil and evil good. I can't keep up with everything, folks. Again, I could do videos all day, which I don't have the time to do, and I don't even get to a small percentage of the things I want to talk about. I mean, things are moving so fast. And I had to share this one with you today. I could not believe my eyes when I first saw this, so I had to go verify to make sure this really occurred, and it did, folks. Uh, this is really happening. Uh, this is what I came across recently at Prophecy News Watch, an article titled, Three Years in Prison for Saying Men Cannot Get Pregnant? Question mark. And then I went right over to The Bridgehead and saw that they had reported it as well. Norwegian actress faces three years in prison for saying men cannot get pregnant. And then I came across this from the New York Post. Norwegian actress Tanya Givijan, if I'm saying that right, faces up to three years in prison for saying men cannot be lesbians. So I read that at first, and I'm like, there's no way that this can be true. But then I had to remind myself, no, we're living in the last days. This is the kind of stuff we're seeing on almost on a secondly basis now. Let me read some of this to you. A lesbian filmmaker and actress is under investigation in Norway on criminal hate speech charges because she stated that a man cannot be pregnant. Uh, a man cannot be a lesbian, excuse me. Tanya Givijan was told by authorities on November 17th that her comment about trans activist Christine Gendoft on Facebook, a biological male identifying as a female, were the reason she was being investigated. Jen Toft claims to be a lesbian mother, with Jiganov responding, it's just, a, it's just as impossible for men to become a lesbian as it is for men to become pregnant. Men are men regardless of their sexual fetishes. The police informed her that she was under investigation for a hate crime. This is unreal. A hate crime because of words or behavior to stir up hatred on the grounds of sexual orientation. If found guilty of transphobia, she could face three years in prison. You heard that correct, folks. Those found guilty of private remarks under these laws can be fined or jailed for a year. Three years is the sentence for public comments. But this is real, folks. This Norwegian actress, again, is facing up to three years in prison for saying men cannot be lesbians. And they're even at calling it, going as far as calling it a hate crime. This is unreal. But this shouldn't surprise us because we are told this is exactly what it would be like in the last days. And it takes me back to what the Apostle Paul records in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 28 to 32. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Folks, make no mistake about it. God has given them over to a reprobate mind. I mean, the things that are happening, again, I only cover a very small percentage of things I want to talk about. Uh, it's insane, and it's going to get a lot crazier in the days, weeks, and months ahead, Lord willing. Uh, Jesus is coming soon. We are watching every day on this channel. But all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, 
Just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you could be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this, heaven and hell are very real literal places and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment, it's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am gonna tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and he's the only name that can save you. He loves you. He loves you so much and he demonstrates his love for you for what he did for you on the cross. In Romans 5, 8, we read, But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The reality is Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.